Hi there, Simon from SimonWater.com. Two RG Reds today, uh, and um, both based on Malbec, but both with other uh, grapes in attendance. First one is the Vignalba uh, 2016 Malbec Bonada. I'm not sure of the percentages here. Uh, Vignalba is a, a, a uh, now who is it? Um, uh, Domaine Vistalba uh, and uh, the, the UK importers, uh, Buckingham Schenk, uh, do these range uh, Vignalba. They've probably been doing it for. Oh God, at least 10 years, maybe even 15, maybe not that long, but, um, uh, and I don't know if this is the first time that they've done this particular blend, but um, let's give it a whirl. Sweet, plummy, quite fragrant. Um, there's these blackberries and um, yeah, wild hedgerow fruit uh, aromas there. And uh, what I like about it is I look at the color and it's a red wine rather than a black wine. Um, and so it feels like everything was uh, really quite rich and ripe. 14% alcohol, par for the course for Argentina. Uh, but uh, they've not gone over the top in, yeah, in, in, in uh, trying, to, trying to make the biggest wine possible. It doesn't smell like it's going to be hugely complex, but um, there is this um, soft, not quite Pinot-like allure about it, but it feels like there's, there's, a, there's a wine here that's going to... Um, be ever so slightly seductive. Yeah, almost like into rose hip syrup. Rounded, juicy, plush, and uh, this plummy allure. And uh, yeah, you, you, it's got the firmness and uh, uh, tannin that you'd, you'd expect from uh, Malbec. Uh, but then there's um, almost a, like a savoury quality as well. And nice texture. It feels like one of those, that it's certainly not a wine I want to sit by itself but almost a, a slightly salty edge to it. Has he, has he sort of going, where are my sausages? Um, so, um, mm, yeah, things about, I'm thinking about um, the, the, how that would work with stuff like salami, if you've got those meats that are slightly fatty and um, ham hock, lamb shanks, that type of thing. That, I think that would be rather nice. Second wine, uh, Claude Lossiette. Um, and, uh, and this has been again going for a rather long time, maybe, I don't know if it's been going 15 years, um, 20, this is a 2013 vintage, and again Malbec is the main component, well, but uh, rather than Bernarda, I think this one's got uh, other Bordeaux grapes in there like uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, I can't remember the precise proportions, but um, there'll be a link somewhere that you can find out if you're fascinated to really get to the down to the nitty gritty of those statistics. Older, but bigger, richer, juicier, grippier, more powerful, deeper in, in, in color, uh, slightly higher alcohol, I wouldn't be surprised, 14.5%, and feels like it's going to be a bigger, yeah, more powerful wine. And um, is that, does that make it better or just bigger and more powerful? Well, it smells good, it smells, um, Smells like a, a, a Michel Roland is the uh, the, is the winemaker here, and uh, like a, a, in a lot of his wines, uh, you can use the word crowd pleaser, and some people think of that as being a negative. To be honest, what's the wrong? What's the problem with pleasing crowds? Yeah, dense, dark, deep, plummy, and um, got a little bit of the uh, the violet edge of um, of Malbec, um, firm tannin, uh, so you're you're left with this. You you're left going. There's that chewiness still still hanging around, uh, but um, but nicely made. It's not overmade. Uh, you can feel that somebody has known what they were doing, but they've not gone uh, right. I'm going to really show off and uh, uh, and really tart it up with oak and really get everything right. There's ripeness here, but there's a dry finish. There is a sheen of oak, but it's not it's not like too many layers of slab um, and. Um, yeah, it's quite a, it's a, it's a, an alluring, seductive wine. Both of them, I've, I've used the word allure about both of them. They, uh, they do a good advert for Argentina and um, uh, there are more expensive Argentinian wines, there are more complex Argentinian wines, but in terms of uh, crowd pleasing, uh, these two do a pretty good job. See you soon.